Good morning and thanks for joining us. Yesterday, the National Weather Service confirmed two more tornadoes from Sunday. Uh, those two tornadoes were added. One was up towards Vernon County and then one was uh, in Newton County. The one in Newton County was four miles to the north and northeast of Ricci, Missouri. Um, they had an EF zero there with 80 mile per hour winds. It lasted for about a mile, uh, three minutes. So it was a weak and brief tornado, but it did uh, totally destroy a grain and an outbuilding there. Again, that was in uh, Ricci. And then we also had a tornado confirmed near Jericho Springs, Missouri. That was Vernon County, also EF zero. Weaker winds of 62 miles per hour. It lasted only about a tenth of a mile, uh, only on the ground for a minute, but it did do damage uh, to the roof of a barn there. This morning, quiet. It is 64 degrees in Branson and we've got very comfortable conditions out there this morning. A couple of clouds across the Ozarks, especially to the west. We'll tap into clouds from the west throughout the day today. It's 66 in Springfield. It's 64 in Branson and up in Rolla. 66 as you start your morning in West Plains. As we head through the day today, it's going to be another day that's cool for this time of year. Our average is 89. Today we're going for 81 degrees. Very similar to yesterday. We'll keep a mix of sun and clouds today. I think we will see some peaks of sunshine very similar to yesterday, but we'll keep that cloud cover temperatures on the cool side. A very pleasant afternoon. Now this is the next thing that we're tracking by Thursday and Friday. Uh, this storm system is going to track just to our north, but that will keep us with a chance for some showers and storms both Thursday and Friday. Again, today we've got uh, just a couple of clouds, especially to the west. If anyone sees rain today, it might be a spotty sprinkle along the eye. 49 corridor to the west. Otherwise, we'll just stay dry with some of that cloud cover. Overnight tonight, we'll stay dry for the most part, but then by sunrise, we'll have a couple of showers and storms start to approach from the west. Again, that I-49 corridor uh, will wake up to some storms by tomorrow morning. Springfield, probably not yet areas to the east, definitely not yet. And then by tomorrow afternoon, those storms will spread to the east as that system that I showed you starts to get towards the Ozarks. And then we'll keep that storm chance as we head through Friday as well. Temperatures have been cool the last couple of days and we'll continue to do so today and tomorrow with some lower 80s. But then by the weekend, we start to crank that summer heat again with temperatures returning into the lower 90s. I wanted to give this a mention uh, because it's pretty significant on a national scale here for weather. We have a Category 5 hurricane in the Central Pacific. It's Hurricane Lane. It is very strong. 160 mile per hour winds, a pressure of 930 millibars. That's a very low pressure, meaning it's a very strong storm and it's going to skirt just past Hawaii as we had through late this week. We're looking at uh, hurricane uh, conditions for multiple islands uh, through Thursday and Friday as it skirts uh, pretty much most of the islands there. Uh, but the rest for this, even if it doesn't make landfall, what I'm most concerned about is rain up to a foot. These islands are very mountainous, so there's volcanoes here. Um, that will cause some landslides across the islands there, so that's going to be a significant concern. Of course, the wind and the waves uh, will be very rough along those islands there. 81 degrees today. We'll have sun and clouds. It will be cool for August. 62 overnight with those showers and thunders to the west by sunrise. 82 with some scattered showers and thunder tomorrow. We'll keep that storm chance on Friday. Then a summery weather returns uh, by the weekend with temperatures in the lower 90s.